How you doing everybody? It's Jim here with Catch Feeder and today we're going to cover the UPS keyless tractor system that's coming to catch. Um, a lot of the other buildings across the country are already using this. They usually wait to the bigger hubs um, last to roll it out so they can work out the bugs at the smaller buildings, but it's finally come to catch. So you're going to start your day the way you normally would with your IVIS. You're going to go to the window, you're going to get dispatched, they're going to tell you what tractor you're driving the way they normally will but you're not going to get a key. Your tractor will be assigned to you in the computer by one of the dispatchers. You're gonna go ahead and put your tractor number in the current vehicle selection like you normally would on your IVIS, okay? When you get to this tractor, as an example, you'll go ahead and put the tractor number in and you'll come up to the truck, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put the tractor number in and then it's going to take you to the DVIR. You're going to go ahead and acknowledge the DVIR and then it'll take you to the next screen, okay? Once you're done doing that, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the middle button on your IVIS right here at the bottom. And that's going to take you to this screen right here. and you're going to heal to this icon that says keyless tractor, okay? Once you get to this icon, you'll see the tractor number, it, and you're gonna go ahead and go to it, and you will see this screen. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to slide this to the right, and it's going to connect your phone to this tractor, which this one's doing right now. Now you're going to see all of this turn solid colors, and you're gonna hit the initialize button, and it's kind of similar to putting the key in the ignition and turning the key to the on position. So when I hit this, you'll hear the tractor start going through a sequence, including the ABS testing. And you, there's the ABS, and it's now kind of in the on position, and it should unlock the door automatically. Okay, now with, this is going to act exactly like the key fob on your car. Okay, so what you're gonna do here, if you wanna lock the door, go ahead and hit lock. And you're gonna see, oh, this one didn't do it, but hit lock again. And it locked the door. Unlock it. Unlock the door. This IVIS is now going to act just like a key fob on your car. Once you're in the tractor and it's initialized, you're gonna see the blue button up here on the dashboard. You can just go ahead. As long as that button's blue, you can go ahead and you're gonna to have to hold it for a minimum of eight seconds to start the truck the very first time. Okay. Now in order to shut the phone off, to shut the tractor off, you're gonna have to hold the button down for a minimum of three seconds. This is to prevent the truck from accidentally getting shut off should you be driving down the highway and you hit it with your hand, knuckle, whatever. You have to hold the button down for three seconds in order to shut the truck off. And that'll shut the truck off, okay? So now we get out of the truck because we want to go into the rest area to go use the bathroom or the truck stop to get a cup of coffee. We're going to go ahead and get out of the truck. The IVIS has to stay on you at all times when you get out of the truck. Okay? So when you're hooking a set of doubles or connecting to your trailer, the IVIS has to be on you. You get to the truck stop, you get out of the truck, IVIS in hand. Go ahead and lock the doors with the IVIS. And the truck is now locked. You could hit that center button, go back to the main screen, and put yourself on brake or whatever it is you're doing. You come out of the truck stop, go back to the keyless tractor screen, go ahead and unlock the doors, and get back in the truck and continue on as normal. Okay? So as an example, I'm going to lock the door. I'm going to shut off the IVIS, stick it in my pocket. And say you get to the truck stop or wherever you're at 
and the IVIS dies on you or you lose it, falls out of your pocket, gets ran over by a tractor, whatever, now you have no IVIS. How do you get back in the tractor? Every keyless tractor has a pad on it, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to put in your employee ID number on this pad, okay? When you first get this tractor at the beginning of your day, the tractor is assigned to your employee ID for a maximum of 17 hours. 16 hours should you get extended and one hour at your start work time, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put in my, and just an example, you do not have to put, basically this is just a five number keypad. You don't have to do one and two. Just hit it straight center in the middle of the pad, whatever your employee ID number is. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my code. And I don't know if you heard that, but it unlocked the truck. You could go ahead and get in the truck. You could start the truck. You could go through the rest of your day without your IVIS working because your IVIS was connected to the truck and it's connected into their mainframe computer. Okay? So you could go ahead and continue on. Now, should you experience weather or something where you have to lay over for the night, you call dispatch and they could extend the runtime on the tractor connected to your name. Okay? So now, let's go back, and your IVIS is working, everything's great. Say you get to Grand Rapids, as an example. I don't know, I haven't been at Grand Rapids in a while. But they want to cut your seal on your trailers. What do you do? You go ahead and you shut the truck off. The guard at the gate is going to come up to your tractor. He's going to tell you to shut the truck off, and he's got a master code for the guards that he's going to punch into this keypad. When he does that, your IVIS is going to say tractor disabled, locked out. It will say it right across your screen on your IVIS. Okay? This prevents you from starting the truck while he's out there cutting the, cutting the seals. When he comes back, he will put in his code once again, and your IVIS will go from locked out to initialized once again. You could start your key fob, or you could start, hit the button, and you could continue on with dropping out and everything else just like normal, okay? So there's no different there. Um, just be aware that when you are using this keyless entry system, once you are connected to the truck, it leaves a breadcrumb of who's driving the truck. And it also leaves a breadcrumb of who assigned you the truck, okay? So as an example, Kathy the dispatcher gives you this tractor, it's going to show on UPS's computer Kathy is the, is the dispatcher that assigned to you, and now you have it. So if for some reason they gave you a permanent uh, temporary code to move a tractor, even though you move the tractor from here to this spot so you could get your tractor out, it shows a timestamp and a breadcrumb on the tractor you moved for all of five minutes, if that. Every tractor that you touch and you get into with your keyless tractor, keyless uh, key fob on your IVIS will leave a timestamp on that tractor. Okay, if somehow you are able to get into the tractor and you say you're going to take off, once you shut that tractor off, the tractor will not start again because the tractor was never assigned to you permanently for the day. So now you're going to be basically stranded wherever you're at. You're going to have to call UPS and the dispatcher will have to go into the computer and put that tractor on you so you could get it started again so you could get back in or finish your day or whatever it is. Of course, they're probably gonna to wanna to talk to you and say, why do you have the truck when it was never assigned to you? Just so you know, be aware of that, okay? At the end of your day, you're gonna go ahead and take the IVIS out of the cradle. You're gonna to go to this screen. You're all done for the day. You're gonna go ahead and lock the door. And then the screen that says uh, disconnect, You're going to go ahead and disconnect it. And now you are no longer attached to this tractor as of right now. You go ahead, go inside, turn in your paperwork, punch off for the day, go home, you're done. Come in the next day, do it all over again. Okay? If you have any questions, I'm going to attach this little uh, quick guide at the end of this video. But there's also support email if you had questions down the road at UPS Keys.
backwards slash keyless tractor at ups.com. You could always drop them a, a message and see if they'll get back to you, which they should. All right, be careful out there. Have a safe day.